What's up everybody, Dave here. Welcome to New Fragrance News, where I bring all the latest news about fragrances that were just released in the last week. I was late last week, so I missed some. So I'm gonna catch up a little bit from last week as well as present the latest news. Before we begin, I just want to address everybody. Thank you so much for watching this news series. I know some people really like this series. I've gotten a lot of good feedback, but I have gotten a little bit of criticism saying that I copied someone. That was never my intention. I have no idea who made this at first. I knew that a news episode would not be a new idea, but I didn't know if anyone out there had created news. So I just wanted to present my take on the news. It's no disrespect to anyone who started it or is doing it now. With that said, of course, I'm your host, Dave. Now let's get to some news. Marina Sorali and Sebastian Alvarez Morena of Eau d'Italie have released a new fragrance, Tuberose in Blue, under the brand Altaya, or Altea. Notes feature mandarin, tuberose, neroli, freesia, heliotrope, cedar, and sandalwood. British niche line Ormond Jane has just released 1.5. It's a follow-up to 2016's release, 1. 1.5 is a fragrance intended for women, which brings fruit notes and floral notes seamlessly together. They say it's exotic, sensual, like a dazzling and delicious cocktail. You almost want to drink it. The notes include berries, cassis, mandarin, citron, lychee, honeysuckle, water lily, magnolia, osmanthus, freesia, sandalwood, vanilla, amber, and musk. Niche Line for Pan will release two new fragrances later this month, Lascarina and Isle of Man. For Pan says, Lascarina is a fruity aromatic fragrance that features a peppery citrus and pear opening over a romantic heart of rose and orange. The contrast between the fresh and bitter aromatics up front and the darker, smokier resins beneath is fascinating on man or woman. Isle of Man is a fresh, salty marine fragrance that mirrors a tough, stony landscape of the beaches that surround the Isle of Man. Isle of Man is a very easy to like marine masculine for the modern man. Floral Street is a new UK-based niche line by Michelle Feeney. It's a collection of eight youth-oriented fragrances that were developed by Jerome Epinette. Michelle Feeney says, I realized there was a massive gap between Lush and Joe Malone, and I wanted to offer fine fragrances at an affordable price in a different way to a younger customer. The eight fragrances are Black Lotus, Shepra Sublime, Iris Goddess, London Poppy, Neon Rose, Wild Vanilla Orchid, Wonderland Peony, Peony, and Ylang Ylang Espresso. Indie natural perfumer Ayala Moriel has just released Inbar. It's a new oriental amber fragrance inspired by the Mediterranean Garig. Inbar's name comes from the Hebrew word meaning amber, and the scent is a fresh interpretation of a genre that is overly syrupy, sweet, powdery, and linear. It also features herbaceous notes to cut through the ambrine accord. Beauty brand Glossier has just announced they'll launch their debut fragrance, Glossier U. It's described as an ambiguous scent that's hard to describe yet easily appreciated. It's creamy, sparkling, clean, and warm. Founder Emily Weiss said, I want it to smell like your boyfriend's neck after he's been wearing cologne for eight hours. Isemiyaki has just introduced L'Odyssée Pour Homme or Ensemble. It's of course a flanker to 1994's L'Odyssée Pour Homme, and it's a follow-up to the 2016 release of L'Odyssée Pour Homme Noir Ombre. It's a mysterious oriental eau de parfum, combining the nobility of incense with the intensity of natural spices and rich rose essence. Or Ensemble was developed by perfumer Christophe Reynaud. Lucky Scent is celebrating their 15th anniversary with a collection from Andy Tower's Towerville collection, including a reissue of Hyacinth and a Mechanic and two new fragrances. The two new fragrances are He Left His Cologne in My Bedroom and also When We Cuddle and I Can Smell Your Perfume on My Clothes. It's a long name. <laughs> from henceforth, it will be called WWCAICSYPOMC. Typically, the stories collection are only available whenever you see Andy in person at an event. However, this collection is going to be available for one month on Lucky Scent's website. He Left His Cologne in My Bedroom is an aromatic cologne with rosemary and herbs. And When We Cuddle is an oriental amber with vanilla, soft spice, and gentle musk. Machino is launching Gold Fresh Couture, which is a flanker to 2015's Fresh Couture. It's a woody fruity floral with notes of mandarin, grapefruit, pear ice, rhubarb, jasmine, lily of the valley, orchid, sandalwood, akigala wood, vanilla, and musk. Artist Andrea Mack has launched Birch, a new unisex fragrance. It's described as the scent of a refuge in nature, a family cabin hidden away in the Arctic tundra where bonfires burn under the midnight sun and tomorrow is a million miles away. 
Indie brand Imaginary Authors has just launched O Unknown. Like all of their fragrances, this is an imaginary book by an imaginary author. The notes of O Unknown are black tea, lapsang suchon tincture, orris butter, kyoto moss, musk balsam, sandalwood, and question mark, question mark, question mark. I actually just did a review of this, so if you'd like to go watch a full review, I'll have it right here in a little card up here. L'Occitane has just launched Joyeuse Fates, which is a limited holiday release fragrance, and Terre de Lumiere Low, which is a flanker to 2016's Terre de Lumiere. Joyeuse Fates is inspired by a Christmas in Provence and has notes of red fruits, rose, and peony. God, I hate peony. Terre de Lumiere Low is a soft floral. Notes include bergamot, pink pepper, black currant, peony, bitter almond, tonka bean, and musk. Jacques Bogart has just launched Silver Scent Midnight, which is a flanker to Silver Scent. It's described as a trendy fougere in the style of Blue de Chanel and Dior Sauvage. Notes are grapefruit, sage, cardamom, artemisia, nutmeg, orange blossom, cedarwood, tonka bean, and guaiac wood. Designer Vince Camuto has just launched Vince Camuto Smoked Oud. This continues the woody oriental theme from the previous release in 2016, Vince Camuto Oud. Smoked Oud introduces notes of smoked rose with a dose of spicy floral sweetness. This fragrance was developed by Steve DiMercato. Jaguar has just released Jaguar Pace Accelerate, which is a flanker to 2016's Jaguar Pace. It's a fresher interpretation with fruity citrus notes and cool spices. Serka Jessica Parker has just launched Stash SJP Privé, which is a flanker to Stash SJP. Ah! What the heck is wrong with this picture? Look at this thing! Thank you, Carlos, for pointing this out, by the way. <laughs> SJP Privé is apparently dedicated to Russia and its ballet. It's intended for women and interprets seduction and feminine charm through deep floral motifs. Guerlain has just launched La Petite Noir 5th Anniversary Edition. It's inspired by Parisian elegance and the fashion staple, the simple black dress. Notes are black sour cherries, bergamot, red berries, almonds, Bulgarian and Turkish rose, licorice, smoked black tea, anise, tonka bean, vanilla, iris, and patchouli. Thanks again for watching. That's all the news I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what fragrances pique your interest. As for my channel, I have two new reviews that you might want to go watch. Black Orchid Eau de Toile that note of Parfum as one review and O Unknown as a second one. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm David with the Fragrance Bros. Bye. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other channel, Beast May Reviews, where me and a friend review high quality products for men. You might like it. Go check it out.